Hello mates, what's happening? Look at that behind me. I don't mean my pond, look at that blue sky. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Saturday morning, long weekend, sitting out by the pond. Got quite a few things to do today. Let me spin you around. Yeah, a couple of things to do today. So I'm going to be uh, in the bowl a couple, couple of these, take some measurements, see where we are. Um, I've actually had the heater on. I tell you what, this heater is absolutely mint. I put it on. Um, I was on 8.9 degrees on Thursday, and I thought, oh, bollocks, I'm going to put the heater on. Um, I put it up to 13 and a half. And uh, <laughs> up she went within a day. She was up to 13 and a half. Um, so absolutely really impressed with that. And it's maintained it ever since and it's hardly coming on. Um, <laughs> so been feeding them a little bit more now, getting them fed. And as you can see, they're all a lot more active again. So. Happy day. So I, I'm going to be bowling a few of these up just to get some measurements on them and quick inspection, make sure they're okay, give them a bit of a health check. Um, and I'm also going to be bringing some of the ones from the grow on and putting them in here because, believe it or not, this temperature is a little bit warmer now than in the grow on because I've cooled that down. So I'll be able to put them straight in. So I'm going to, I'm looking forward to getting my bad boy Kahaku in here so he's definitely coming in here today and I reckon he's gonna look awesome through the glass when I see him going past so yeah without further ado I'm gonna crack on guys Right, I mean, it's just voice over in this bit. It's so noisy in the um, in, in the garage with everything running here, so easier to just talk through it. So got my big net out here. Um, it's quite easy to net fish with that in there. It's so so big the net. Um, so I'm trying at the moment to just get the achiever out first. Uh, I thought I'd start with one of the smaller ones. So I'm just, uh, just out of shot a minute, but I am trying to net him. Here he comes. So yeah, just got to get him into the sock. So I rest the net down on, on the back there, and then I can get the, the koi sock in. I'm trying to be gentle with him and getting the fish to turn round so I can get him in head first, but uh, stretching in like that, it's not quite happening. But I eventually get him in, although it's been a bit backwards, but he's in. Surprising how heavy these nets are when they float.
think there's the first one. There she is, this uh, lovely Achiba. Um, just measured him up, just over 36, almost 37 cm. I particularly like this fish, it's got a beautiful pattern. I'm trying to keep the water level a little bit lower to stop him jumping, but I think the pattern on this one is absolutely superb. High that bone is there as well. Lovely looking fish. Got one or two in there now, so it'll be interesting to see the size difference. I may get the other one out and compare, but uh, yeah, what a cracker. Well, please. Right, let's get the first one in. Go. That's the next one. That's the Shinoda Yatsuri. Just measure, measured up at 46 cm. Beautiful fish. Look at how oh, deep that fish is. See, this water level is a little bit shallow for this fish, but uh, look at the backbone. Beautiful looking fish. Nice pattern really pleased with the way this is developed. There's a cracking fish this one. And let's get him back in. Glad I bought that uh, one meter bowl, it's great for doing stuff like this. Um, and maybe one day I'll have a fish that will fill it up a bit. Um, I think my biggest fish at the moment is about 60, 68 cm, I think. I think Joe's is about 68, so yeah, it'd be nice to get one that'll actually fit. Just measured this one up and I can't believe he's still a tool's eye, he's 50 cm. 
Um, look at that absolute body on it. This is obviously Dainichi. Bloody massive fish. It's going to be a cracker. You can see where the UV is getting at it now. We're getting all the new coloration coming through. So that's going to make a massive difference. Now it's in the pond. It's going to get some UV on it. But I'm chuffed with this fish. It's awesome. I think we'll be calling this one Jumbo. I think I can imagine this turning into a a cracking big fish if it's 50 cm now anyway i don't want to stress him out i want to get him in so can't wait to see what he looks like in there against with the others i know i could have put these fish in direct from the bowl but I want to bring them up to the window, net them and bring them up to the window to see what they look like. Um, I want to watch the videos back and see what they look like going in, so that's the way I decided to do it. So I'm just bringing Jumbo up now. Just gonna put him in. And then he comes and goes in the way. <laughs> Oh, and she moves just in time. There he goes. Beast. Oh, looks a monster. That lead him. So I just pulled this one up, guys. Um, it's been in the pond all winter. I just measured her up. She's 37 cm. Sorry, the water's dirty now, but so many fish in the lake. But nice fish, nice achiever. Um, Nice fruit green coming through on it now. It's a little bit of a scale there, which is a bit of a gain ring or something, but beautiful fish. So I'm just taking measurements obviously. I want to see what uh, what growth I get this year as, as we all do. So yeah, that's a 37. I'm not taking many out, I'm just pull the odd one or two just to see. Like I say, all the new ones going in, I know what they are, so I'll be able to judge off them. Right, thought I'd show you these lonely pair. Um, the Mayatora Shower, the Deutsch Shower, is sold. I'm waiting for that to be collected. Um, I've left the Akamatsuba in there at the moment. That's um, a Natsuka one. That's coming on really well. It just, I think, a bit of UV on that to be absolutely mint. Um, so that's probably going to go back in the pond once I'm uh, up to speed. But I want to leave two in here. And I've got a new batch of fish coming shortly, but I want to keep the filters mature. And once you take all the fish out, obviously it'll die back. So um, I'm going to have to think of a plan. If these have gone before then, I'll have to put another two in there just to keep my uh, grow on up to speed. But yeah, two nice fish and uh, it seems very, very empty in there. Very quiet. <laughs> Little bit of food on there and they still haven't even taken up on the food yet. Very shy they've gone now that they're on their own. I think they're a bit lost. Right guys, following day, I uh, got a bit carried away yesterday. A couple of things happened and uh, got really busy and stopped filming. So, yeah, all the fish are in. They've all settled in. They have no jumpers. I was keeping an eye out, we were we had a nice clean in the garden yesterday afternoon and we were sitting out there in the late afternoon, evening, watching the fish and uh, you know what it's like, you can get the old jumper when you move them, but yeah, everything was fine. It's nice to see the pond now, it's looking more, a little bit more fuller. Um, I think I only had about nine fish in there. so. Couple more in now at the moment.
Gonna give them a bit of food in a bit. I've uh, decided to turn the heater up. Being as this weekend was a little bit better. Although we only on you know. We're on 16 degrees now. I cranked that back on this morning. Um, we took it from 14 to 16 in uh, a couple of hours. So, happy days. So, I'm just going to maintain 16 now for a week or two and then get it up to 18. I don't like the pond sitting really between 12 to 16. Uh, Ramona's Ali really in it, so it's nice to get it up past and get it up to the 18. So see how it holds at 16 for a day or two, and then we move it up. Then but yeah, all looking spot on. Still can't get over the size of the uh, kahaku. And he's, he's still a Tozai. Where's he gone? Oh, he's up there at the moment. He's down that end. But, uh, yeah, well impressed with him. That's uh, my Dainichi for you guys. There's the car gate. Settled in nicely. It's looking much better in the pond, he's just uh, really like that fish. Surprising when you call you always better when you look down the number eight. There's the bad boy, look, there's the carpet. You always look better when you look down. Made an adjustment to my bottom drain pump now, just turned that up to 60%. Um, on the shower, turn the skimmer up a touch. Yeah, only because I am starting feeding now, so I don't want to uh, have any issues. I checked the uh, KH and the pH on the pond is all fine. Um, I haven't bothered with ammonia or nitrite or anything yet because they haven't been having any food really. I'll give them a bit there now. I've only started feeding them this weekend. Probably get this one once I get it to uh, 16, 18. I will probably set this feeder back up. You see, she's sitting on 16, but I don't want to feed too much. I'm just feeding probably three times a day, I'd say, at the moment. Yes, the pond looks a lot better now with a few more fish. Look. It was looking bare before, so yeah, well happy with that. Well happy. Right, I'll probably end this video with you guys. I haven't got uh, anything much else to show you now, so uh, have a good one and all the best. I'll catch you on the next one.